Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we wanted to do a short installation video on Common Rail 5.9 Cummins injector installation. Now, this is a call that we get a ton at Thoroughbred Diesel, and it's because of the feed tubes. Now, in the light duty space, the Thoroughbred services, the 5.9s in the VP44 trucks, and then the 5.9 Common Rails from 03 to 07, and then, of course, the 6.7 Cummins um, from model year 2007 and a half to current all have a feed tube the feed tube alignment on these injectors is critical the 03 to 07 model year on the injector seems to be the call that we get quite a bit so we wanted to go back through this installation now listen we've got a 5.9 common rail injector installation video from start to finish we did it years and years ago but this video we want to do a short and condensed version of how to install these injectors and to help you be able to get these feed tubes aligned and torqued down correctly so you're not going to have hard starts and after three or 400 miles the truck starts getting hard starting on you losing rail pressure and all the things so let's go ahead and get started with our installation all right we're in the engine bay now and getting ready to install our injector and again we're going to just take you through step by step in this process that hopefully this will help you with your installation at home so when you remove your injectors uh, from the 5.9 and the 6.7s, you need to remove the exhaust uh, rocker lever uh, and get it out of the way, and then that will allow you to remove the injector. You also also remove the valve bridge um, here. One thing to note on the valve bridge, the valve bridge is now, and now for we're going to only be talking in common rail 5.9s here. There's been torque specs, and some of the other processes are going to be different on 6.7s, but we're just talking about common rail 5.9s. If you look at that valve bridge, one side of the valve bridge has got a dimple, one side does not. And if you look at the underside of the valve bridge, one side of the um, uh, one side of the underside of the valve bridge is more uh, is more elongated than the other side, a little bit more round. If you're going to reuse your valve bridges, which you totally can, you want to make sure that you note the orientation between the two valve stems, which way it goes. If you're using new valve bridges, don't have to worry about it. it can go either way. But new on used valve stems, you've got to go back in the way that they came off. And that's just for wear purposes. Okay. So uh, another thing that I want to note before we get started here, I want to talk just a little bit about 5.9 injectors. Now, this is a set of Torque Master uh, injectors from SNS Diesel. Um, the uh, big shout out to SNS for sending these. We're doing a whole series on this truck. This is Adam's truck, who's our, our video guy. Um, and this is his truck. He had an injector failure. And we really uh, spent a lot of time on talking about Common Rail 5.9 trucks and relation to injector failure. Uh, some of the failures that we have with valve seats on these trucks that that, that literally cause catastrophic failure. But uh, we're working with SNS on this project here, so this is a set of their Torque Master injectors. Um, but I wanted to make mention of this and. There's a lot of different opinions out here. Now these feed tubes, there are feed tubes that are specific for the common rail 5.9 trucks. And um, you will see some technicians and even Cummins themselves say that the 6.7 feed tubes can be used with the 5.9 injectors. We don't like that. This is the Bosch stock OE feed tube we like and we suggest here at Thoroughbred for you to use the 5.9 style feed tube we find for the 5.9 injectors it seals better and it's just we have overall we have less comebacks on technicians and um, you end users that use the 5.9 feed tube so if you're watching this um, and you've got the 6.7 feed tubes I would tell you that yes they will work but um, you want to make sure that you go through all your torque specs correctly because it's even more important if you use a 6.7 tube. If you haven't purchased tubes yet, I suggest that you use the 5.9 tubes. And we also suggest that you always use new feed tubes. Always, always, always use the new feed tubes. Okay. So all of that being said, uh, the first thing that you do inside of this, if you look at the injector, there is the feed hole side of this injector. This is where the, um, the feed tube engages the injector body itself. Don't have that on the back side of it. There's a hole here. This is return fuel flow that you'll have on that, that portion of the injector. And that's why, uh, and we'll get into this, it's why sealing surface or of the injector bore is so critical and that the copper washer is on the injector when you install it because this 
seals the combustion chamber from blowing up around the injector body. If it blows up around the injector body, it's going to interfere with your return fuel. It's going to give you drivability issues. So, all right, um, on this, you know, most of your injectors are going to have different cup placements on them that are just protective on this. So we install our injector first and another thing that i want to say here when you're getting ready to install the injector uh we just use clean uh motor oil to lubricate this uh lubricate the o-ring that's on the injector body the orientation of the five nine common rail injectors you'll see one side of this uh hold down is is rounded one side of it is square the rounded portion coincides with the portion of the injector where the feed hole is so you when you're installing it you know if you look at the rounded portion it should be lined up with the feed hole portion of it and the feed hole portion of the injector is pointing towards the driver's side of the truck um, for you to for acceptance of your feed too so when you go to install the injector you want to make sure that your copper compression washer is there and you also want to make sure that your injector bore is super super clean uh, we have an injector bore brush set that we have from Alliant power here we've got these on the website works really really good on getting that bore super super good and clean and ready to accept the injector so we put the injector in um, get past your intake valve bridge okay rounded portion is pointing towards the uh pointing towards the feed tube again that's your feed tube portion here we check to make sure our copper compression washer is on the bottom we get it started in the bore here all right and some of your injector manufacturers are going to have this plastic cap that comes on top of the solenoid this plastic cap is actually an installation tool it's a place for you to put the palm of your hand so you can push the injector uh, down inside the bore so i'll go between the two uh, stops on it and then then meet about halfway and then if you don't have this little this little cap right here you can take a shop rag and push over that solenoid just be really really careful main thing here is you don't pull the injector down with the injector hold down bolt so palm of my hand on the top of the injector and i'm just going to push it till you hear it clunk just like so all right so i've got my injector seated and what i'll do at this time so i don't forget it i'll go ahead and put my two injector hold down bolts in and all i'm going to do is start them and the uh, uh both of those are eight metric uh hold down bolts so i'm just going to start those and it's really, really important when you're when you're torquing those two little bolts down that you want to do it uh, in even strokes. So you want to watch that injector hold down, make sure that it is even. So now we're going to look at the feed tube here. The feed tube has a uh, so for the five nine common rails. There's two uh, silver balls. These are the uh, just these are just a little alignment bearings, alignment balls on the um, feed tube itself. I've used bad terminology there. There is a notch cut in the head for the alignment of those in the, on these feed tubes. And we'll put a little bit of, of good clean motor oil on those as well. Um, those two balls will correspond to a cut that's in the head. So you want to go into this cut. And then when you insert it in the head, you can see my hand here. I'll go between the two stops there, between the two stops. And I know that I'm in the, I'm in the space correctly. Okay again and i'll check it two or three times because a lot of guys will put this in here and the the, the balls will be not oriented correctly they go between the two stops and again i'm going to push on this just with my bare fingers until you hear a little clunk like so so that tells me i'm engaged where i need to be on the injector and what i can actually do is i can take the injector itself and i can turn it back and forth very very carefully by that solenoid and if i see movement of the feed tube over here i know i'm engaged to the injector so we're good to go in that regard then we take our uh, feed tube hold down nut and we're going to go ahead and we've got it cleaned up we go ahead and, and tighten it down and we just run it down finger tight here to the feed tube all right and then you actually torque the feed tube nut first. So this is a 15 16 and your first torque on this is going to be about 11 foot pounds. So we put a little torque on this, this one first. And 11 is not much, but you'll hear it click off there for us. So we check that up. So that's your first torque value. Now that's not your final torque value on that 
on that feed tube nut but it is the first one so 11 foot pounds 11 12 foot pounds just depending on what your wrench will do we just start with that then we're going to start with our injector hold down bolts okay and we're going to take these all the way to their final torque of 89 inch pounds however we're going to do this systematically we're going to take uh, cummins manual will tell you that you want to do these in about 90 degree turns and you want to do it evenly as you're taking the injector itself down until you get to your uh, until you get to your final torque on this which is again 89 inch pounds so that's what we'll do and we're just watching the injector hold down that it's going down even so about 90 degrees there each one Click that off. 89 here. Go back and check it again. 89. Okay. So that is our final torque on the injector hold down itself. 89 inch pounds. I just leave my cap on to protect my solenoids there while I'm working again. So now we're going to come out to our feed tube nut and we're going to put our final torque on it, which is 34 foot pounds again that's 34 foot pounds and i'm going to tell you in this job this is this torque right here is the most critical one that you're going to do because this is the one where you're going to make hay 34 foot pounds is going to be your goal torque for that uh the 34 foot pounds right here this is your ceiling that you're going to have between the feed tube and the injector itself you take that the 34 foot pounds and you follow these instructions that we just did on these two torque sequences three torque sequences technically but between the two of them you do that i promise you you're not going to have a comeback here on this truck now a few heat cycles go through the truck you want to take the lines off of it and you want to recheck that feed tube that's perfectly perfectly fine but the trucks that we've done you're not going to have a comeback 89 inch pounds on the injector hold down two torques on the feed tube first one at 11 11 foot pounds and then finish off at your 34 foot pounds uh, on your feed tube and that is going to be again where you're going to make hay and truck's not going to come back on you for a hard start or no start or anything like that so all right and the next thing that we're going to do uh what i like to do is i like to go ahead and do my valve bridge and again we talked about our bad valve bridge there on orientation my orientation was the little dot was out on this okay and then before I put my exhaust rocker arm, I'll take my push rod and I'll just feel it for it to make sure it's engaged in the tap. And what am I feeling for? I'm feeling for a little bit of a hydraulic feel. If that is the best way I can describe it. It's very soft and engaged into that tap. It, it's hollow uh, and there's going to be oil between the two. So it's kind of oil locked or hydraulically locked there. So that's good. We've got everything we need there. Uh, your rocker arm. You know, just go ahead and set your rocker arm down. You want to make sure that the backside of your uh, of your rocker actually falls into the ball portion of the the push rod, and then you want to make sure that your valve bridge is on both of the valve stems, and then that the the end of the rocker is touching that. And now we will torque our rocker down to 27 foot pounds is our torque here on the rocker and um you know we talk quite a bit if you're doing this job and we're going to do this in another installation video the common rail 59s have got those little chintzy pieces of plastic on the end of the rocker um, i like to convert this over to uh, the uh, old style uh, rocker arms uh, hamilton cams has got a really really nice kit for that so we're going to do that install on this truck at a later date but not today so we're going to torque this exhaust rocker down to 27 foot pounds and of course after we get the job done we'll go through check overhead on the valves uh, we'll do that in another video as well so there's our 27 foot pounds we've got that clicked off so now we will in remove our cap 
on the on the solenoid and when i do my wires i make sure that my wires kind of stay in the position that they go on the injector polarity really doesn't matter on these but they're formed to only really go one way if they don't go if they go another way you're going to have a weird pull on them so you'll know what's the right way to put them on the injectors but uh, as far as polarity goes if you cross it, it doesn't matter it's going to work either way so all right and then i hand tighten these down and uh, you want to make sure that the tail of the wires are away from each other. The torque spec on this is 13 inch pounds. So it's a foot pound and, you know, a sneeze. So uh, when you do this, I, you know, we don't, our torque wrench will do it, but I just, I don't trust it. I just take a little T-handle plier and I just put two fingers worth of tightening on it is all I do. And this is important, not because you'll break the studs off, because you will, you'll break the studs off. Um, but it's also important because if you stretch these uh, these solenoid posts, you'll lose continuity to the injector solenoid itself. You'll have drivability issues. Um, the injector won't be warrantable if it goes in for that condition. Several different things there. So you're looking to make sure that those tails aren't touching each other. That everything's good and straight there. No contact with the wires and the rocker arms. And guys, that's really it. Um, you know, at this point, we'll put all of our lines on on the tr on the uh, on the on the injector feed tubes. We'll go through those. The lines are going to be torqued down to 22 foot pounds, and we definitely suggest that you put new lines on the truck when you do the installation because you'll notice when these come off, they're corroded, and that's what makes the um, that's not what makes the feed tubes turn in the bore. Sometimes if the feed tubes turn in the bore. It's not the end of the world but man it makes it really really hard on getting them out so if you if you do this job use new lines when you do it and i promise you you'll thank me later for it so that is correct installation method for a 5.9 common rail injectors with the torques and how to do it you do it this way you do it by the book the truck's not going to come back on you you know easy enough job it's just something you've got to really really be aware of so if you got a question about installing five nine common rail injectors uh just give us a call big shout out to sns for these injectors this project is uh, is is talking about some failures on on these model trucks these 03 to 07 model trucks we're going to try to get to the core of some of that for you uh and uh if you're looking for injectors sns is definitely a good brand to to uh consider so thanks for watching